Yeah, it works. You also you also notice a second. You also notice an entirely different source of power, sort of welling up on the planet. Doesn't seem da- it's, it's doesn't say, it's not the same sort of power that an enemy that like lasers would do. It's something else, something familiar. Can't put your finger on it though. Hmm. Make a mechanics check. This is more of a knowledge roll. Yes, three days. <sighs> make, mechanics. A, make a mechanics. This is more of a knowledge thing. So it's a difficulty. Just... It's in. I'm using mechanics as a knowledge skill here. Okay. So it's a... difficulty Just... two. Hmm. If you didn't know any better, this you would say you would say that was similar to the grav the, sh- the gravity shadow field generators that they have on Imperial Interdictor class cruisers. That's impossible. That's, that's that's impossible. Well, if it's impossible, then that can't be it. <laughs> that, can't, that, that can't be it. This, for one thing, those aren't as big as a fucking planet. Another thing, there's definitely not an imperial. There's definitely not an imperial presence on this planet. Well, there is no way that a place we were sent to by a moth would have imperial presence ever. Good, good. That's a good thing. Well, it was yeah. an imperial ship. Who's to say they didn't? Well, that was, yeah, it was ten years. It. That was ten years ago. Times have changed, but yeah. But if if it's if it's a habitable planet, and they use the escape pods, they could easily still be down there with a power source. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if they started salvaging their own ship. So you're mm-hmm. saying we should glass the planet, right? I like this you, idea. You don't have that capability. Oh. <laughs> Right, this is it. Just our wait, we don't. Our blasters are kind of short. Just, just oh. point the speeder out the side. It'll work. Well, just as ju- just as just as the first wisps of the atmosphere start start to burn against start to burn is the is the edge of the uh, the shields, an alarm goes off throughout the entire ship. What is uh, this? A landing alarm? No, it's not a landing oh. alarm. There's good. What is it? It's. It's. I don't know what kind of alarm this is. It's sort of the the console sort of flashing random colors. Things are turning off. Things are turning on. You think the hyperdrive just turned on and then turned off? And what the hell was that bang? It can't turn on. So think, that's obviously not true. Yeah, there's no. But there actually is a loud bang coming from where the hyperdrive is. I'll go check it oh. out. There's smoke and stuff pouring out of the engineering room. How is the need... ship handling? Not very well. I'm going to need a piloting a space check. At a difficulty two, please. I'd rather not. Well, <laughs> you could just forfeit it. <laughs> well, hey, you succeeded. But you're throwing everyone. You're throwing the entire ship around. Oh, I think inertial stabilizers just went offline. Uh, yeah, the inertial stabilizers are offline. You guys are actually feeling a lot of the G's now. Well, those of you who can feel. All right. I feel like I'm back on Narshada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need a mechanics check at a difficulty three with a one setback die for the smoke. Oh boy. Jay can help in theory. He, he is. The robot, the little R, the little R five is gonna help too. That's three boost die. All oh, the boost die. Wait, so the engineer has a bunch of droids helping? I know. Who would have thought? Snarky comment. Yeah. Hey. Well, you know what's broken. And you is know it what, everything? It, well, it's not everything. The hyperdrive influx capacitor insert <laughs> jargon here are blown. Oh god, tachyons everywhere! Are blown, and your main and your main hyperdrive is can't run without them. Your backup's on, but your backup is still be able to work, but it's not running really well. Ah. <sighs> You're able, hey, on the right side, you're at least able to put the smoke out. Yeah, yeah, right side. Yeah, right I side. Just make sure I tell everyone, you know, shit's fucked. Real fucked. Yeah. 
And the ship's going down. But the question well, is... Well, we were going down to begin with. Yeah, you're going down a lot harder now. You're just making it a controlled crash at this point. Wait, the yeah, hyperdrive's the, off, but... The hyperdrive's the off, engines. the ion engines are sputtering off and on. The question is whether we're going to turn this into a crash or a finger quotes landing. He, well, Lana's got a good hold of the ship right now. Well, I've seen, I, I saw what happened at the start of Revenge of the Sith. I saw how that landing worked. Yeah. I saw how many people Anakin killed with that landing. <laughs> what movie is this? I've never heard of it. Okay. Uh, the question is now, where do you want to put it down? Do you want to put it down near the, uh, the distress beacon in one of those in, clearings? In the, in the location that has the most boost die. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be at one of the clearings near the distress beacon. All right, got it. The least penalties. <laughs> okay. To put it down there, you're gonna you're gonna need to rule at a difficult check, but you do have two boost die because you know the layout of the area roughly. But you're getting a minus one setback due to the fact that you have no inertial stabilizers. Two boost, one setback. At yeah. three difficulty. <laughs> you got it. Was that. Nice. <laughs> It was nice knowing you all. Hey, you guys, um, you guys I think, have I think light destiny. side destiny is going to be used on this one. Go for it. They'll yep. like, bump it up to two proficiency. Good. <laughs> um, that's a question. Is that how it works? Yeah. You can either add. I think. Yeah. It's a... Hey. You bring it in for you bring it in for a landing. I can't Run. spin destiny because the destiny thing's broken. Don't worry about it. I'll t I'll keep I'll keep a track of it in my head. Sure, that works. Yep. And you put it down with a loud thump. Everything sort of rash, rattles around. Things are thrown. Things are thrown around. Things that you are pretty sure shouldn't be moving are moving. And then... So the, there's no landing engines or anything working? Yeah, the repulsors. Like the ones on the bottom, the repulsors to keep it from... Yeah, the repulsors. And you're surprised the clearing you landed in is relatively flat and seems to have been cleared out for something? Did the repulsors work? Yeah, they worked, more or less. Okay, so you would at least be able to get it down on the landing legs instead of on the belly. Yeah. Thank Crunch. God. And the engines throw them out. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, that was awful. <laughs> it could have been worse. The big question is, is my booze okay? That wasn't the hardest landing I've had this month. Well, I'm going to work on shutting everything down to a some sort of power-saving state. Mm-hmm. Jay's going to pop head, a hatch and take a peek outside. Don't worry about that. Back to, uh, <laughs> don't worry <laughs> about that. <laughs> head back to see uh, how things are looking. Well, all things considered, everything is not as bad as you could think, you think it could be. The hyperdrive is the worst of the things. The main hyperdrive is completely shot unless you can find new hyperdrive influx capacitors. Patent pending. The ion drives look like they're fine, just a little shorted out. Same with the inertial stabilizers. All right. I guess my better judgment, I'm going to ask, how did the hyperdrive break? Uh, I, no idea. Hyperdrives don't just up and break, do they? Just go poof. Did we steal a lemon from the hut? I, if I had to guess, we stole something that has a security thing on it. Trustiest Antonius is used, used freighters. I think we stole a lemon and liberated another lemon. I think we stole a ship that had a security device on it that if it wasn't disabled in time, would fuck us up. Ah, aren't... We got lowjacked? I'm guessing it was probably programmed to do this during the first re-entry to try to make us crash and die. So you're saying that we should have checked for devices like that? Yeah. With a sigh, she just kind of looks at Lissa. <laughs> I checked this ship. Ish. Lissa is actually pretty sure that it was nothing on the ship that actually 
that actually caused the blowout. If it's anything, it's whatever the hell we were sent here to find. Well, we weren't shot well, by anything that I saw. Didn't you say there was something about sure. some sort of sort of like energy power source? They did what would that do? Yeah, yeah. There's so, there's some power source that should not be here, at all. Like us. We don't, we don't know what should be here. While okay. they're all discussing that, Jay's sticking his head out the deck hatch to take a look. A particularly large, expensive, and powerful piece of Imperial tech should not be out here in a yeah. salvage operation. Well, Aaron, what you see will actually require you guys to come to a new map. Quick, copy your tokens. I don't want to. Copy. This time I wasn't able to find a uh, battle map area thing, so we're going to be using the powers of imagination this time. All right, that's fine. Imagination. Should we just get like a, a landscape mm. shot? Yeah, you do. I, I see. I see the initiative already has something on it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the adult spider pounces. <laughs> don't worry about. Don't worry about that. That's for next time. Dragon Ball Z. As for never. Pay pay no attention to that. Yeah. Pay no attention to the spider in the corner. <laughs> the curtain rustles. <laughs> What's a curtain doing here? Don't worry, it's, 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 it's an adult spider. What could it ever do? Spiders don't eat droids. Yeah. At least spy any spider you don't know about. Unless they're droid spiders. <gasps> and then they I always... Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Well, what you what you come across is, as far as, you can, as far as you can describe it, a verdant, lush, green world. <sighs> Ambient temperature is around 73 degrees. Humidity is around 56%. It's just quite nice. Water's a little green. Probably drinkable. Jay uh, sticks his head back in and shouts, This whole fucking place is lousy with life. And it's rusting weather. Ugh. He rust? Some of parts. course he rusts. Oh. Have you looked at it? You bought a cloak to protect you from the rain, right, Jay? Ish. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Did was it raining? No. I didn't hear that part. Okay. No, it's just really it's humid, just humid as shit. It's it's yeah. like being in Florida. Yes. Welcome to Florida, the planet. <laughs> and we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! What's going on here? Box. Bye. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, as you all, I'm assuming you're all exiting the ship at this point. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. For the most yeah, you enter out to the you enter out into the clearing, and something starts standing out to you as you exit the ship. Is things that the giant things, trees. Besides the giant trees, they're pretty darn big. Green but, it, but but built built into the side of the tree seem to be what look to be huts of some kind. Shit, Ewoks. First thing to do is pull up the They're blast. very rough looking and have look like they've been abandoned for many years at best. What size creatures do they look like they would accommodate? Someone short people shorter than Wookiees? But normal human humanoids. I don't suppose you saw those huts whenever you were doing your scads, did you? It's really hard for scans to actually find anything made of wood. I wasn't asking God. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> yo. Of course, I picked up the huts on our scanning equipment made to find machinery and other large-scale objects. All right, yeah. See, I knew you were good. <laughs> so what do you do? Do you do anything with the huts? The only thing I'm doing with the huts is pulling out a blaster and maybe looking inside one of them. All right. Roll a perception check. This is going to be an easy one because it's kind of obvious it's there. Jay will follow to try and keep her from getting killed. Hey, you need me to keep you not broke. Exactly. Does this uh, does this ship have any exterior anti-personnel weapons? Besides its besides its guns, no. 
Yeah, Jay. Like, like smaller ones that are No. Okay. Yeah, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, you look, you look. You look inside. You look inside the hut. You really don't find anything. You really don't. The thing. You really don't see much of anything. But you do notice the telltale, the telltale left behinds of military rations. Well, I assume the crew lived here. Also, well, the lived here definitely the lived part. Mhm. Mm also, this is definitely a hut. Yep. Definitely I'm going a hut. To go back inside and. Get the speeder ready to take a scouting route around the area. How does it smell? Green. Everything green. smells green here. It's got a very chlorophyll smell. Everything smells vibrant and alive. Awful. <laughs> That's a lot of green. Mm-hmm. But you're in a... You, Lana miraculously landed in the middle of a giant clearing that has trees surrounding it, and the inside of the most of the base of the trees are huts. Lissa looked inside one of the huts and um, found what appeared to be the remnants of military rations. Yeah, I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of time searching to find out, like, especially trying to figure out if anyone was recently here. All right. That'll be, that'll be a two purple. Perception? Two purple perception. Should you be good? This Togruta are good at perception. Yeah, they're a little bit better than uh, typical. Mm. Your magic eyes. That's cunning based, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They are magic based. I have force perception. Mm -hmm. Well, looking, looking, looking through a series of huts, you do notice the telltale military rations. Some of them, some of them seem a lot older than the other ones. Some of them seem a bit more recent, maybe within four to six months of, you know, the other ones seem to be years and maybe even a decade old. But there's so, something else that you do notice with Jay's help is, well, how do I describe this? Underneath, underneath the leaves and detritus of this forest, you find basically the corpse of a Imperial Stormtrooper. His body desiccated and wasted away and covered in long, wispy little strands of of basically silk well then his armor's useless by the way don't even try it I figured it would be yeah after this long here just making sure well maybe he's got uh, well it's definitely Imperials we we'll, uh, down for credit I'll, I'll grab the I assume is the helmet still on the body? Well, the eye socket, the eye sockets have been crashed and pierced, and it's the entire like armor is like ruined. But the helmet is still a helmet. Is there a commutant? I'm just gonna say the helmet was had fallen away from the body, and I'm gonna pick it up to show the others that Imperials were here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old school stormtrooper helmet, not the one, not the ones you're used to, but still similar. So like more like a clone trooper helmet. Similar. Is there a is there a comm unit in there? I'll flip it over and look inside. If there was one, it has died to the test of time or to the uh, elements. There's there's pieces of what used to be helmet electronics. Mm -hmm. Toss well, it back on the well, ground. Okay. See if Lissa can figure out what channel it's on. Anyway, there might be other people on that channel on the planet. Mm -hmm. Just blankly look at it, it's and I, I get the feeling nothing will be coming from that again, will it? At any rate, that li that gives credence to the idea that this clearing was intentionally, intentionally <laughs> glassed so that ships could land here. Or was cleared after escape pods landed, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Um... Stepping back inside the ship, what distance is it to the distress beacon? Oh, it's about three and a half kilometers to the northeast. Wonderful. All right, well, I guess we have a little bit of a walk. Speeder. Speeder can't haul four. 
Yeah, but I can look around ahead of people. Sure, don't walk. walk. Okay, you separate. We'll see you Sep never. <laughs> Separating the party. <laughs> can speeders actually move at a slower pace? They can. Well, I mean, they can just hover along on its, 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 its crawler. <laughs> exactly. So are you, gonna, are you taking the speeder out? Oh, I'm definitely taking the speeder out. Are you going to fly off in the direction? You know, I think I'll probably stay a little bit ahead. Not too far ahead that I can't. Uh, just keep in mind something fried our ship on the way in. They might be able to fry that thing, too. Hey, God! Yeah? Okay, now, I know that body there, the stormtrooper, he's been dead there for a while. Can I, like, try a survival thing? Yes. It, or, like, a medicine thing to see whether... I'd like survival to see if I can determine, like, what might have killed him? That'd be pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do that, God. Two purple dice, by the way. Okay, God. As far as you could tell, the thing that killed him was an animal of some kind. And judging by judging by the many puncture, what appear to be many puncture wounds across his body, it was either a lot of them or something biting him many times. Okay. You're Ooh. not sure what it was. It could have been a large cat, a dog-like creature, a spider, a scorpion. I don't know. I will share this revelation with the class that there might be thousands and thousands of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A planet full of life that has life on it? Mm-hmm. Possibly predator. Of the Rakshar will nod astutely at this revelation. Mm -hmm. I say we gather up uh, whatever survival shit we need and start, you know, putting Trudging. distance behind us. Yeah, okay. Then I'd go trudge. All right. I'll get my also, food. <laughs> going to going to definitely try to close up and seal the ship. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. I was, I was hoping it would have external anti-personnel weapons just to leave them on passive scan or something, but I guess nope. this is the best we can do. And uh, can we set it up so that if the ship gets opened up by any means, it'll like alert us over com or something? There's always a B help, though. B's like, yeah. I'll do something, you jackasses. God, yeah, you'll give our ship away. <laughs> He'll open the door for them. <laughs> he doesn't respond. <laughs> um, about during you. during the three days, would it have been possible to request that uh, if Lissa's capable to change the access codes to the ship? Yeah. So that it's not... It's not, it's not very hard to do that. Okay. So that way it's not known by any other group. All right. All right. New password is password. All right. Except for the B faction. That's the only other group that knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys head off to the northeast, does it take you long to realize that the path is rather, rather easy? Path? <laughs> There's actually a path that goes off to the northeast. Well, I guess that kind of confirms it's, this was probably survivors. It seems like it, it seems it's seen better days, but there is obviously a path that goes off to the northeast. It winds around natural, natural uh, things that would get in your way. Yeah. So it eventually, after maybe two hours of trudging, although Lissa would be the first one to see it, you see, yep, that's a starship. Covered in trees and canopies and vines. That thing is not at all visible from space, and you have to guess that there was enough vegetation covering the thing that it would ruin any scans. How big is the starship? What are we talking about here? Gigantic. These things, these are acclimator class starships. These things are designed to carry at the height of the Clone Wars almost 10,000 10, clone troopers. Well, Rector's going to look at that and think, and that was hidden perfectly from the scanners while we were in space. Maybe this is not as good as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, <maybe laughs> yeah, but this thing has seen better days and it was heavily modified from the normal size, so it's not as big as a normal acclimator, and there's not that much left of it. Well, parts of it are gone. Quite a few. So is, is there any sort of, like, obvious, like, trail, like, blaze through this jungle to note that it was landing and crashed and on the way it just completely smothered all this? Or is all of the, like, life and, like, greenery around it still upright? All the life and greenery around it's been smashed and ruined. 
Some of it's growing. Some of it's been growing back. Okay. Over and through, I assume. Yes. And it looks in the. It looks like the path will lead you directly to what appears to be a gigantic hole in the belly of the ship. Huh. So was this path to or from? Both. Mm. Looking at that hole, is there any way I could tell? I mean, it may may be too long now, but uh, if it was, like, done by a blast or something, or from inside or outside? It looks like it looks like it was a combination of crash damage and escape. Well, okay, that's uh, <sighs> crash damage. Oh, at least it doesn't look like anything experimental just blew up inside of it. No, it seems like the main hull is intact. It just seems like a lot of the there's the wing bits and a lot of the like top part of the thing have been scraped off and ruined, but. You would say the main hull of the ship is there. Just cracked and in beyond repair, basically. Yeah, yeah. I see that. Oh, okay, I would like you to make a difficult perception check. That's a three purple, please. Lissa, because you're the only one there right now. Indeed. How far behind are we? I don't know. How far How far ahead did you fly? The idea was to stay within uh, Comlink. Okay, well, so that, that kind that of depends on really like comlink. Like uh, Com- I don't, I, I don't know what kind of comlink potential Jay and Lana have. I don't even know I whether have, they have comlinks. I think a basic a normal comlink, comlink. Could go out like fifty kilometers. Yeah, Jay's comlink is built into his verbal brain. All right, because right. I have like a long range comlink that I can use to talk to the rest of the solar system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay's is just a normal ass comlink. So. Yeah, so- uh, no, the standard cool. comlink can reach low orbit, so that's got to be at least like 30 miles, so 50 kilometers. Yeah, the initial plan was to go there, look at it real fast, and turn right around. See if there's anything you could do with that. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do that. Hey, Triumph. Yeah, Triumph. Hmm. Glorious. This is more. This is more to. A, there's a little. This is mostly to explain what I said earlier. It looks like they cut their way out. But what you notice because of the uh, triumph, although this is sort of tempered with the uh, the threat there, is you're noticing little wisps, little white wisps, these strands of what appear to be silk around the edges. They seem to be frayed and broken. So, if there was, if there was ever more, it's long. It was long since ruined. That's a whole lot of no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you turn around and go tell them that. Pretty much going to go turn around uh, and tell them on the way back, just saying that the path is mostly clear, but there's obvious signs that they're, whatever killed that stormtrooper back there also was near this thing. Huh. Also looks like they... Uh, had to blow open a hole or maybe make the breach wider when they got out. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Those stormtroopers are tough cookies. A tough what? I don't know, I heard it one time. Oh, stormtroopers okay. aren't that tough when you ram a bike into them. We're working for the Empire and they are Imperial soldiers. I think they'd be more happy just to try to get off this place than just open fire on other people. What? No, I'm talking about uh, the thing that killed them. Well, if there's wildlife Darkstar here... said that, there's like thousands of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, if there's wildlife here that can pick off stormtroopers, we've got to keep on our guard. Just shrugs and nods. Mm-hmm. It'd be a pretty fast trip back, considering how fast speeder bikes can go. Mm-hmm. And now for the two-hour trek. Trek. The trek. To go, to go three kilometers? Jesus. I don't know. Well, it is through a jungle, too. You're not floating. But there's a You're path. not floating. Exactly. exactly, there's a path. All right. It takes an hour. It takes 30 minutes. Whatever. I don't care. You're there. Time. It takes, it takes ar- a jump cut. It takes an arbitrary amount of time. You're there. Of narrative time, yes. Anyone have any good stories? 
Well, it was no. this time that I almost crashed a ship into a planet, but we managed to land. That sounds... I feel like we've been there before. Have we been there before, Jay? At least twice in the past week. I thought you might enjoy it since it's relevant. Uh, there was this one time I drove a speeder truck into somebody. We need to stop I... eating planets like that. I mean, first Feta, now this. Hey, at you least don't this, say. At least this one smells better than Feta. Speak for yourself. I'm God. I can speak for myself. I can speak for myself and you. Nope, you can't bunny my character and tell me what sounds good. It smells good and what doesn't. Alright. After a narrativistic amount of time, you